Hello, everyone. Very good to see you again. I'm Anne-Marie Green alongside Vladimir Dutier. I hope everyone had a great weekend, Vlad. But I am sort of still kind of reeling from that fire in the Bronx. And I think, you know, part of it has to do with the fact that you know, we just had a fire in Philadelphia where I am at, uh, you know, 12 people killed. Many of them were children. And then this fire in the Bronx, we are seeing more children as well being injured, hospitalized there. Um, it, it's heartbreaking. And we're, we're going to get into that story, the cause of the fire, what investigators know so far, how the victims are doing. That's coming up a little bit later on. But we are going to start things off with, uh, you know, where the country is at with this coronavirus pandemic. Yeah, it's been been a tough start to 2022, Anne Marie, not only because of those fires that you pointed out, uh, the one that happened in Philadelphia, the one here in New York City. We've also lost some incredible people. Bob Saget over the weekend, a lot of people are mourning him, Betty White, Sidney Poitier, Peter Bogdanovich. Uh, it's a very, very tough year. And on top of that, we are still not seeing a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to battling this pandemic. Because as you say now, the number of kids that have been hospitalized with COVID-19 is climbing rapidly. And it's leading some of the nation's school districts to move to remote learning, which I know is frustrating to a lot of parents. Here's why. The CDC reports an average of more than 800 pediatric COVID-19 hospitalizations per day last week. Now, some of those children were brought to the hospital for other reasons and then they tested positive. Janet Shamley and reports from Houston, Texas, where one ICU is grappling with a growing number of COVID patients who are children.